Hi everyone. So what we're going to look at in this video is how we can add images to our PowerPoint and Word documents without ever leaving PowerPoint or Word. We'll do this by inserting images from the Bing search engine right inside of the document. So in order to do this, open up a new PowerPoint document to start. Uh, I'm also going to show Word in a, in a little bit, but you go over to the insert tab and select picture. And you want to insert an online picture. Now, I want you to know that this is also available in the PowerPoint Online program. So right now I'm using the desktop program. But if you go to PowerPoint Online, this is also available. Go to Insert, Pictures, and select Bing Pictures. Again, this is using the Bing search engine to search for images that you can insert into your document. So now you don't have to go to Bing or Google image search and copy and paste them into a document. You can do it right from inside the document itself. So I'm going to use the, the desktop version, but know that it's exactly the same in the online version. So now you can search for different things. For instance, what this is really great for is your Bitmoji Classroom or any of those interactives you want to develop. Um, you can just go here and start to search for things. For instance, let's look up, let's say I'm using creating a PowerPoint for a Bitmoji Classroom. Let's look up a picture of a classroom. Okay. And um, let's say you want to select any of these. One of the things you may um, notice is this Creative Commons only checkbox. So uh, initially when you search for something, it's going to only show you Creative Commons, things you can use, freely use, uh, free or paid, uh, without you know, any attribution. You can just use these, for free, these freely. If you, you know, you, you're not worried about Creative Commons use, you're just using it for your classroom, etc. You can uncheck this and you'll see more options as it will just search the entire internet for images of a, of a classroom or whatever keyword you searched. So I'm going to select uh, this one because it's a little more cartoonish, you know, Bitmoji classroom looking. And I can say insert. And now look, the picture is just right inside of my classroom. And, uh, you know, the design ideas comes up. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set this, as, I want to set this as the, as the background of my uh, PowerPoint. It comes right up here in Design Ideas, so I'm just going to choose that. So now I have this nice background set up. And uh, now maybe I want to add some other um, images. So I can go back, I can say Insert, and... Uh, pictures, online pictures, and, you know, maybe I want to add Superman to my classroom, and I'm going to uncheck this again, and, you know, let's just select a picture, and it's inserted. Now, something, especially when designing the Bitmoji classrooms that people always identify is you have this white background. So, uh, what can we do to remove this white background? Well, there's a couple things. PowerPoint's really good at um, having some tools uh, that can help us edit this. So, for instance, I can take this picture of Superman. I can go over to Color. Um, so, again, if you click on it, this Picture Format tab will show up. And I can say Set a Transparent Color. And I can click on the white, and it will set all the white in this image to be transparent. All right, so that worked well for, for this. But what I want to show you is that when you do your Bing search, um, there are some filters that you can use that make it really easy for you to find what you want. For instance, if you want something with a transparent background, it will only show those results. So let's go back to pictures, online pictures. This time, let's say I want a laptop to put over, you know, on, on this desk. It's another classic Bitmoji thing. So we got some pictures of a laptop. Nice. Some of them look like, you know, they have a white background. Maybe they're transparent. Let's uncheck Creative Commons. We've got some more options here. Now, in order for me to ensure that they're transparent, a lot of people say, oh, type in transparent or PNG. And that works most of the time, but sometimes it doesn't. What will always work is click on this filter. And this allows you to filter your search for certain parameters. For instance, maybe I only want really big pictures because it's for a background image. So I don't want it to be pixelated. I can select that and only show me images with, that are extra large. Or if you're looking for animated GIFs, line drawings, or clip art. So it can, it can look through these things. 
The one that I use all the time, what I'm trying to show you right now is this transparent option. So if you select that as a filter, so again, the filter I have selected is transparent, it will only show me search results with a transparent background. So I can select this, insert, notice that it put in an image with, auto, with a transparent background because it only showed me search results with images of a transparent background. All right, so you can use any of those filters. Let's take a look at them one more time. Um, and when you search for anything, I'm just gonna click on this category, um, you can use any of these filters that you see, colors, specific colors, layouts of the image. Again, um, sometimes I'm looking for just like a cartoon version of something. So you can do uh, line drawing or clip art. Um, so a number of filters that are really helpful for searching. Let's take a look at what this looks like in Word. So we can also do this in Word. Maybe we're making a worksheet in Word instead or whatever the document may be. Um, we can check, we can do the same thing in Word. So let's go over to insert, picture, and again, online pictures. As, as I showed with PowerPoint, this is also available in Word online. So if you're using Word online instead, you go to insert, pictures, and there's a Bing option, and you can do the same thing in Word Online versus using the desktop program. So you're, I mean, your students can do this if they don't have the desktop apps. All right, I'm just going to use one of these pre-selected categories. Fish seems cool. We have some fish here. Uh, let's not do Creative Commons. I want to have it be transparent again. Now I get all ones with transparent backgrounds. Very nice. This goldfish looks cool. Click insert and there you go one more helpful hint while we're at it and we have a video on um you know inserting images and things in word um things don't naturally move freely around um so uh there are some wrap text options and so if you do want to move freely move an image around in word just select in front of the text or behind the text if you want it to be like a background you want to do behind the text and uh, then you can freely move it around and it won't be in line with text or allow the text to wrap around it. The text essentially ignores it. Um, so just go up to picture format and wrap text in order to do that. Some people don't know that that's an option in a Word document. So then you can resize and you can do whatever you need to for it. We also do have that transparent color option in Word. Um, so you have the, some of the same corrections and coloring options in Word. Um, so check those out. And that's what's really great about PowerPoint and Word with allowing us to very easily edit these images. And now you know how to search them. So that's it. Um, thank you for watching. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. If you have any other ideas or topics you'd like me to cover, also leave me a comment. And don't forget to click that subscribe button.